Welcome to a new video in one of the most beautiful hotels I have been to, the Grand Hotel Tremezzo at Lake Como. We arrived at Lake Como in the morning and were able to have an early check-in at the hotel. Despite the unstable morning weather, we were welcomed with a beautiful view of the lake and the stand with delicious treats. The bedroom was beautifully decorated, with the impeccable classic style that you would expect from a grand hotel, especially on such an idyllic location, but these amazing views were the real showstopper any time of the day. While we waited for the sun to come out in full splendor, we went visiting the hotel garden and garden pool. These gardens are set on the hill on the back of the hotel, extending all the way up the mountainside and are beautifully terraced with many different picturesque and romantic corners. The garden pool is set amidst a luxurious natural setting, surrounded by the greenery of the garden the tall hillsides all around and with views to the still waters of the lake. As the sun started shining brighter, we went down to the water-on-water -water swimming pool, a floating platform right on the lake with arguably the most incredible views you can have. As the staff started preparing the pool area to make it more comfortable to the guests, the boats on the lake also started a daily bustle in a constant back and forth between the different towns by the lake. We stayed for a couple of hours sunbathing on their sandy beach area next to the floating pool just breathing, relaxing, and with the occasional dive. Afterwards, we went for a cocktail and lunch right there on the bar, further enjoying the views and the warm sun over a delicious pasta light meal. For the afternoon, we decided to go relaxing by the quieter garden pool, which also feels fresher owing to the lush green all around it, making it more pleasant to enjoy the hot afternoon hours.
As the heat of the afternoon waned, we decided to climb up the hill behind the hotel to see the lake from a different perspective. Although you climb quite a bit, the walk up does not feel too strenuous as you are constantly surrounded by lush vegetation and trees and with every turn you make higher up than the previous one you are presented with even more amazing views of the lake. Up there, we had these beautiful panoramic views all the way to the iconic town of Bellagio, glowing in the late afternoon sun. After enjoying the views and nature for a while, we returned to our bedroom to prep for dinner. We had dinner at Le Scale, one of the three restaurants at Grand Hotel Tremezzo. The views in the early evening were a bliss with the golden sunset light shining through the hillsides across the lake and the west hills casting the shadows on the waters and on the east margin. We chose to have a three-course a la carte dinner, starting with a cheese board and jams. For the main, we had a delicious tagliolini cacio e pepe with black truffle, prepared right in front of us with the beautiful scenery as the background. Finally, for dessert, as the night sky had settled in, I went for a tiramisu, also freshly prepared right by the table. After dinner, as we made our way to the bar, the hotel lobby had this beautiful low light with candles all across the room, creating a very moody and welcoming ambience, exuding that classic Grand Hotel spirit. We then sat for another hour or so at the bar, relaxing to the live piano music before calling it a day. The next morning, we woke up to this beautiful light, which was just perfect for our main activity of the day. 
but first, we headed down to breakfast, with probably the most varied choice I ever had for a breakfast. It had anything anyone could want, from cheeses and cold cuts, to pastries, breads and jams, all sorts of fruit, cereals and sweets. The breakfast room is also very beautiful and colorful, in a way that perfectly complements the incredible views all around. As we were just about to finish breakfast, we could see the boats at the Grand Hotel Trimezzo's Pier getting ready for a morning ride around the lake, and that was precisely what we were up to next. By the time we got on board and ready to depart for an hour cruise visiting some of the lake's most iconic areas, the skies had completely cleared and the whole landscape glowed in a vibrant green and blue. Over a glass of Prosecco, in this most beautiful wooden water limo, we went all the way south around Isola Comanchina, the only island on the lake, passing by other landmark villas, such as Villa Sola Cabiati, the cinema-famous Villa del Baldianello, or the very exclusive Villa La Casinella. Then we came back north, passing by Grand Hotel Trimezzo, afar to our left, with the snow-capped mountains in the background. And to our right, we could see the beautiful Villa Melzi and its gardens. Our final stop was just off Bellagio, a very picturesque town standing right where the lake divides into its two south branches. At last, it was time to head back to Grand Hotel Trimezzo, and one of the dreamiest experiences on our stay sadly came to an end. For lunch, we were invited to Hotel Passalacqua, a sister hotel to Grand Hotel Trimezzo, another gem by the margins of Lake Como. Before lunch, we were kindly taken on a tour of the hotel, an historical 18th century private villa with terraced gardens flowing down all the way towards the lake and which was turned into an exclusive hotel with only 24 rooms. While we did not have the chance to stay at Passalacqua, we were fortunate enough to visit the Bellini Suite, 
an almost 3,000 square feet suite with the opulence of an Italian palazzo, double height vaulted ceilings and the Murano glass chandelier on its living room. Walls painted with frescoes, a very refined decoration and beautiful views of the gardens and the lake. The hotel also has an underground spa area with different treatment circuits as well as an indoor pool inside the greenhouse with views to the garden. The weather was beautiful, so we had lunch on the terrace overlooking the small town of Torno. The whole attention to detail in the hotel is transposed also to the lunch experience with beautiful tableware, flowers in each table and even the menu cover was lined with an intricate fabric. We had a very light lunch, but no less deep in flavor, with the freshest and highest quality ingredients put together in classic but so very tasty dishes by the ends of the Michelin star chef Viviana Varese and her team. After indulging in a delicious lunch in a very calm and quiet setting, we went for a walk along the hotel's terraced gardens, a haven of privacy and energy-restoring seclusion. Thank you for joining me on this visit to two of the most fascinating hotels in one of the dreamiest regions of Italy. I hope you got a sense of enjoyment that captures the beauty of this day. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss new videos I'll be sharing of my trip to Lake Como and its most beautiful towns and experiences, as well as to other regions in Italy and Europe.